men's match wasn't the only Six Nations game called off in February. The women's match between Ireland and Wales at the start of last month had to be abandoned at half time. So they met again for the full 80 minutes this time on Saturday. Ireland had a narrow half-time lead over Wales when this fixture was halted due to a frozen pitch at the start of February. No weather problems at Ashburn last Saturday afternoon and not too many problems for Ireland on the pitch either. Unchanged from the impressive win over Italy and on the scoreboard after only nine minutes with number eight Joy Neville getting the touchdown. Wales were without their suspended captain Rachel Taylor and their midfield defence was missing here as Sophie Spence ran through a huge gap to put Ireland further ahead. Neve Briggs converted for 12 points to nil. Some fine handling then in the lead-up to Ireland's third try and it was wing Neve Kavanagh who added to her brace against Italy with this touchdown in the corner and it was 17 nil to Ireland at half-time. A two-pronged tackle by Lynn Cantwell and Claire Malloy won this turnover ball for Ireland. Alison Miller pounced and no Welsh defender could get close as the winger sprinted in for Ireland's fourth touchdown. High fives to be followed by try number five. This Philip Doyle coach Irish side certainly looks to have many strings to their bow. A change of tactics, yes, but the same result. A try, this time Gillian Burke from a well-executed rolling mall. The handling and skills were a bit off in the lead-up to try number six. There were some loopy, laboured and loose passes before Ashley Baxter crossed the Welsh line. But there was no doubt in the quality of Briggs following conversion. A superb kick from the touchline, rounding off Ireland's biggest ever win over Wales at this level. Ireland 36, Wales nil. Brendan, it really seems that this women's team just seems to be making big, big progress every single year. Well, they had it, had it difficult enough at the start. If you go back to when we were putting our women's team out first, they were being milled, particularly by Wales, so it's good to see that turned around. It's also good to see when they don't have much of a travel issue in getting to Ashburn that they can go out and play some good rugby. What happened to them on that trip to France was a disgrace. They end up getting three hours sleep because of botched travel arrangements and it was unfair of anybody to expect them to go out and represent their country under those circumstances. So there was always going to be a bit of a backlash and Wales got it. Yeah, 